Hey guys, what's up? It's Geyser50 here, and I'm bringing you a commentary over probably the best game I've ever had entertainment value-wise and just gun skill, gunplay-wise. This is from the Road to Commander before I stopped it. This is a domination on Nuketown. If I already said that, I'm sorry, but uh, I have short-term memory loss, so it's alright. This is probably going to be one of the best scores you've ever seen posted with the Olympia that doesn't involve chopper gunner or dogs. That doesn't involve gunship, that doesn't involve Blackbird. I mean, teammates get Blackbird, so I'm running low kill streaks, just like your average player would, I'm trying to help my team win. It's gonna be, I'm not gonna commentate this whole thing because I'm kinda hard pressed for time, because I need to go to a business meeting in a few minutes, and if you just saw my update about 23 Pipe Milo's victory, in the, uh, whatchamacallit, look at this three piece I get right up here, I'm like, God. And Nick ruins it with the cart bomb. But 23 pipe models contest winning. Um, I think that's pretty sweet. He's getting some free 1600. Sorry, that was just me buckling my sandal. I don't know if that sounded too loud or something. But uh, I really think this is probably one of the best games I've ever played. And I really wanted to commentate this. Before I put the flawless up, and after the flawless, I have a, another new town. But that's a 23 and 1 search and destroy. Which is another good game to look forward to. And I got, like I said, guys, I'm jam packed full of good gameplay. It's going to be coming out right now. I got a few games last night that aren't really great, but they probably could be some Music Monday type of things. I got like some 60 and 10s with Chopper Gunner, so it's nothing it, like special, but they're nice to have on the uh, hard drive in case you have nothing else. Oh, speaking of that, I'm probably gonna buy a new hard drive soon because I have no room on mine currently. So that's why the videos are a little limited because I have to clear my computer every time I go to upload one. That takes some time. I'm gonna be working on that. Kill myself with my napalm. That's one of my like 11 deaths in this game, or more than that, actually. It's like 15 deaths. But I do almost get 80 kills. I get 77 kills. Um, the gameplay is pretty entertaining in itself, and the fact that I stopped the Road to Commander should mean that maybe I can get started on the montage for it. Cause I had a decent amount of clips actually just playing it for such a short time. Some nice quad feeds and some nice triples. Um, E3 was this weekend, and uh, a lot of games came out. Halo 4. Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3. Three big hitters right there. Now Halo 4 is pretty much the most excited I've ever been for a game. And you're probably thinking Modern Warfare 3 is what you just said you give away. Your channel's Call of Duty based. Everything you do is Call of Duty based. Guys, Halo is where I started. When I do another Who I Am as a Gamer video, I'm going to continue with that. Actually, hell, I'll continue from here. Um, in Halo 3, actually... Once the playlists were uh, starting to get, uh, I guess it, I should probably just reword all that. I started too late into it. I started off Halo 3 and I was a staff captain, first to count. That's just something we can start with here. Never played Xbox, so I never played Halo 2. That was my first first person shooter. Madden 08 was the game I played before that. Had all the achievements. I thought I was a beast. Come on Halo, and I start having some fun. Start off with a 25 staff captain. Then I move on to a 31, which is like a captain or something like that. I don't remember. I didn't really rank it up too high. Move my way on to a 46 Brigadier, but that was in only 193 experience, I think. So that was a good account. And then I moved my way to a couple 50s. And I moved through some 50s. I was the first 50 out of my friend's group by a mile. Everyone else is still on Commanders. That's between 35 and 40 for anybody that doesn't really know. But uh, for a little while in Halo, I was really good. Like, I was ranked top 32 on teams. My name was Pure on the ladders. If you ever wanted to check MLGPro.com, I did have pro points to my name. My name was Pure. I never really got to attend events like I would like to, but I got a lot of online qualifier points in, which can count towards pro points in the long run, but I'll get more into that. But that's just kind of a generalization of where I was in Halo, and ever since Reach came out, I kind of quit Halo, because Reach fucking sucks, guys. I really hate Reach. Armor abilities and all that shit seemed to ruin a game that was so much fun, and turned out to be so horribly redone. But what are you going to do about it? We're not developers. We don't get to choose who gets to do what. Uh, I don't know how much more of this gameplay I can really commentate. Because like I guess I'm getting hard pressed for time. I got like five more minutes. So I guess I could commentate another five. Now out of the three big hitters that came out. Battlefield 3 has the most potential. And you're thinking well obviously Treyarch made one game. And Bungie made another. And those are two of the best game producers of our generation. Besides a few... Well, Activision's involved with Call of Duty, so that kind of helps right there. And Microsoft with Halo, so they are the biggest names. But uh, Battlefield 3 has expectations, but they're not Call of Duty's expectations. Every time a Call of Duty can't go get 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 get, get, get that's all, folks. Every time a Call of Duty game comes out, people expect that it's going to be the best game out that year. Maybe not the best, but probably the best personal sh first-person shooter in the book. Bad, bad, bad. Guys, if I could stop stuttering, I would. Trust me. 
the best multiplayer, and uh, that's what people look forward to. Now, Battlefield's expected to hurt Call of Duty, or maybe be a COD killer, but nobody buys a Battlefield game like, wow, this is going to be the best game ever. This is what this game has potential to be. If this game comes out with dedicated servers, great motions, great movements, theater mode, theater mode would really help a lot, because who likes the live cap? Not me! I mean, it has so much potential, so much unbound potential. Just like Gears of War 3 has so much it has to live up to, because Gears of War 2 was awful, besides the campaign, that if I'm, uh, shit, who makes Gears of War? If I'm the makers of Gears of War, because Adam can't remember right now, I'm really trying to step my game up, because that online multiplayer experience was horrible. And that's where a good proportion of your revenue comes in, is online multiplayers. But, um... I mean, what are they going to do about it? It's too late to pick, fix that game, so hopefully Gears of War 3, they go all out. It's another great campaign like the last two have been. And uh, it's also just a lot of fun to play, because Gears of War, that's what it's all about. I mean, that's why the chainsaw is in there. It's obviously not competitive. You can active reload and one-shot somebody with pretty much every gun in the game. Two-piece? And there's that three-piece. I wanted it. I wanted it bad. I thought it was pretty sweet when it happened. Um... Uh, I say um and stutter a lot, so I apologize to you guys, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? I have 30 subs, so who gives a fuck? It's not like anybody subscribes to me. Slash sarcasm! Um, I don't know what you guys would think of a montage if I make one out. It's not going to be a sniper montage. I hate the sniper. I'm not a fan. I, I think it's stupid to think you're better because you choose to use a sniper, or that you, you have an excuse to do bad because you're using a sniper. If you choose to use the gun, you should probably be able to do good with it. That just kind of varies itself out. I mean, there's people that can use the sniper and go plus 20 every game, and they don't use it as a crutch. But if you go negative 18, you're like, well, uh, sniping, that's using it as a crutch. Use a different gun if you can't go positive using it. That's a kind of fucking dumb excuse. Obviously, if it's not working for you, switch guns. A montage is not going to help you that much. I mean, apparently kids on YouTube can make trick shot videos, and get 400 subs, that drives me nuts. I put tons of effort into every single video I upload. All these kids do is color correct a single clip, which is not even a decent clip. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. If you want me to go get 360 Claymore switches online once a week, I can do that. I have no problem doing it. I'll whore the fuck out of the video. Oh, I want this. Get it. Get it. Ah, oh, I couldn't get a double. But I mean, it's not that hard to get trick shots once. Try telling these kids to go get a good gameplay every week. Better yet, try telling them to make a video every day that's 10 minutes long. To capture, render it, make it, commentate it, throw in some music, maybe have a decent score because being bad doesn't help. I mean, trick shots are a joke, and anybody, I mean, there's kids out there that are actually good, but anybody that has 500 subs that all they do is upload a trick shot once a week, shock cinema, ahem, ahem. Yeah, that's fucking bullshit. I deserve your subs. Bring them to me. Am I being greedy? Whatever. I don't care. I'm not trying to please the gods of YouTube. I deserve what I deserve. I work hard to get what I want. I'm going to keep working hard. And eventually, I'm hoping I get there. Because if I don't get there and I have 100 uploads and I'm still at 30 subs, I'll probably be pissed. I might actually quit YouTube at that point, but we'll worry about that when that happens. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't, it, it just drives me nuts. I'm going to leave now before I make myself seem like more of an ass. And I'm going to throw on some music at the end here, guys. Deuces. Bad boy, man.
my dick got rock quick I guess I was a combination of House of Pain and Bobby Brown I was humping around and jumping around Jaffa, then I asked her who's the man, she said B.I.G. Then I bust in her E.Y.E. Get that girl, you got it going on Get that girl, you got it going on Get that girl, you got it going on